will be a little different than our usual data science related or full stack related chatbot related video. This video is an extension to our previously uploaded video that is the use of Semoy library, which is a Python based library for data cleaning. But what's new in this video? The new element in this video is that we are going to use this as an API now. Earlier we have used it as a package, which is a very language dependent package, which can be only used with Python. So we are going to see how to test this data cleaning and pre-processing API in Rapid API. So yes, you heard it right, Rapid API. Basically, a Rapid API is the API marketplace, which is almost used by 1 million plus developers now, where you can find, test and connect to thousands of APIs within a single account. So if you want to host your API, if you want to make your API public to the world, so you can use Rapid API. There you can charge as per the use, as per the file size upload, as per the number of hits. So it's quite good to use Rapid API if you want to test any API. Some APIs are free of cost. Some APIs, they charge a very nominal fees and all those stuff. So we are going to see how to use Semoy API with the help of Rapid API. So let's see how to use it. So this is the Rapid API marketplace where you have to search your API by mentioning the name in the search bar. After searching, you get a data cleaning and data pre-processing API that is Semoy. They have uh, provided all the endpoints. Basically, they have provided two modules named data cleaning and data pre-processing. You can select any of it as per your use. Also, description is provided with all the functions. So basically, it makes it very handy. So all this description is available, so you can use as per the description methods. Also to my right side, you can see the code. Well, this code is almost available in 20 plus languages, including Go, C Sharp, Python, Ruby and whatnot. With the help of this code, you can use this API anywhere where you want to use. Well, before testing the endpoint and all those stuff, you have to subscribe. So let's see how to subscribe it. So yeah, you cannot uh, test it without subscribing. So they have pretty good four plans, basic, pro, ultra, and mega, which we will discuss later. So you can choose any one as per your convenience and use. Basically you have to enter your card details for the subscription. So this is how you subscribe and test the endpoints. In basic, they have provided free five hits. So you can use. Right now I have just hit their uh, drop as per threshold API so let's see yeah it's quite faster also so my null values has been dropped in Melbourne housing data set with the threshold of 15 percent so here we get the JSON object you can see to the right side now we will be testing drop null so there are two types of method rc underscore any null rc underscore all null Similarly, we have to choose a file and then we have to mention the method name and the access name. Well, all these parameters are quite well described in the description box. So you have to read your description very easy and you can use this APIs. So just click on the test endpoint button and your result will be displayed on the right console within few minutes. So yes, your, our results have been come. So basically this is a JSON object, so you can use it and you can even flat this JSON object into your Python data frame if you are very comfortable with pandas. Now another API we are testing, that is our missing uh, duplicate values. So we are dropping all those values. So drop duplicate rows, test endpoint and yes the result will again come within minutes. So this is, I'm just uh, making you comfortable with this Rapid API, like how to use your API, published API in Rapid API. Now we will be handling missing values, 
so you have to choose the file why i am choosing the file because that is written in the description box all those parameters so you have to put the parameters accordingly as per the functions well this function this python package i have already described earlier in my video so you can also go and watch that video for in-depth details of those these functions so you'll be very much comfortable then now i am testing function drop null so i am dropping it sorry replacing my null value i'm so sorry it's replacing null with the mean so i'm just testing my endpoint and all my null values will be replaced with mean So again a JSON object. Now I am testing missing values with LRU. So LRU means least recently used. So we will be miss, uh, replacing our missing values with LRU technique. So let's select a data set. I am this time using a women's chess player data set. So let's import it and test this end point. So I think this is taking let more time than other functions but yes we got the result so again now we are testing case conversion function so there are two methods upper or lower this is basically to convert your data frame into either all uppercase or lowercase so just select a data set i am selecting again a women chess player data set and then we have to test the endpoint and then our result will come all these are basically a part of data cleaning now we are testing with data pre-processing that is correlation correlation is very important when you want to find the relationship between your two attributes because this will define your target variable so better the relationship stronger the relationship better is your model so let's select a data frame and let's see what it shows I'm selecting a women chess player data set again and now I'm testing the endpoint. So we are going to see the correlation like highly correlated two variables. So you can see our variable name and blitz rating are highly correlated. Similarly name and rapid rating are related. Now probability distribution of column basically it will show you the uh, probability distribution for each of the numeric continuous column. They have included everything that is variable, log norm, and whatnot, like almost every uh, distribution that are available in size stats. So let's select a Melbourne housing full data set and test the endpoint. So we'll get top three distribution for each of the column. Like for column price, we are getting top three distribution that is log norm, Pearson three, and beta. So it's quite good and quite faster. Now we'll compare about the price. I just found some random API on Marketplace that is Rapid API Marketplace. I found this API that is only generating passwords. And for that also their basic pro, ultra and mega charges are huge as per my opinion. But on the uh, other side, if I see for data cleaning and pre-processing using Semoy API, they are charging zero rupees for your basic and they are also providing five hits free of cost. So you can use and you can test this uh, particular API before purchasing it. So I particularly used basic and then I have been now subscribed to pro. So it is also quite economical. If you can see, you just have to pay one, four to eight bucks. That is quite less as compared to most of the APIs that I found. And also you are getting 250 hits per month and file size that is available to you was 20 MB. That is quite huge. If you want to explore your data science skill or machine learning skills. Similarly, on the other hand, if we go for ultra and mega, that is also quite economical. Like for ultra, you are getting 500 hits per month and file size is also 20 MB and you just have to pay 2323. That is within 3000 and 4000, your work will be done. So from my side, a big kudos to this uh, Semoy API team and I will recommend it. Please go and use this particular API 
if you want to clean your data, pre-process your data within no time.